when you were growing up, of course, there was no uh, uh, phones or iPads or anything like that, nothing electronic. So what did you do to uh, occupy your time as a child? Well, I wasn't very old when before I'd go out in the night or any time, Dad used to say, net another needle of twine for you get out, because you caught traps then. We weren't very old when we know how to knit the twine that day. Yeah. So when we did get out, we just, uh, you'd have uh, skating on the pond, and that's where you'd play hockey at. Uh, some, like, we don't get the pond as good like that as often as we used to do then. I suppose we were still the clear. In the spring then, there wasn't much to do. And when we went to school out there, the only recreation I know we had was bring around the rosy. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. doing they say now you know. Yeah. Then you'd pick a girl to come in the middle with you and if she's not there to take your part, come choose another with all your art. <laughs> you know, and that that's something we never had much recreation. No. Yeah. Uh, it was always chores to do, wasn't it? Oh, oh there's always something to do, you know. Yeah. You always was busy, there's something to do because there's much fencing and gardens, you know, had cattle. Yeah. One very old you should always like horse. I always said when I got old Older, I still have a horse. Yes. You now that hasn't materialised, eh? No. Even those horses out, from, out next door. Yeah. I still got horses tackling around from when I was young. I used to love the horse, eh? Right. Yeah. I went to Bear Roberts on horseback sometimes. Oh wow. And not over when I was on with Shirley, no. but over to get a uh, show over to the forge and stuff like that. I used to love the horse. Very good. But there was always something to keep you busy. Yes. Yeah, but it wasn't what a difference today and there when they got the stadium to play hockey and oh, yes, yeah. stuff like that. Oh no, this has been a terrible year with COVID on the yes. go. But yeah. But we was always busy. Always. And uh, of course you could slide on the road down on the hills because small truck wouldn't be down with Salt in there, it was a part where the horse and slide all, all went along. No, that's right. Now, yeah. see the sand, yes. the sand truck was down I can remember the sliding on buses. So it was, and every, there were flakes everywhere. Every home and every uh, we had flakes all over the place, you know, for yes, throwing yeah. the fish on, eh? That's right, yeah. And every bit of land was fenced. Yeah. Everyone had their garden, their kitchen garden. Yeah. Well, we lived over in the road where John Lair's at, down under that hill. As a, what they call a kitchen garden there, and I don't know how many there was to have been eight or ten at a part. A few drills, a carrot or something, oh, a few yeah. potatoes in that garden. Right. That was right down over in Pickles Cove. Oh, is that right? To down under the house, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that was uh, how long that went on before my time, I just don't know, eh? No. Yeah. Yeah, very good. You never, uh, and you never went in the house, like you wasn't in the house all day long, because if you did, you'd have to do oh, something. Oh, no, we lived on birds in the winter months, yeah. you know. Right, We lived yeah. on birds, you picked the birds, and uh, no one had a deep freeze even then. No, that's I right. I remember yeah. when Mother bought the first one when she had a store over there, oh, a small, yes. you know, yes. at a grocery shop, eh? Yeah. Other than that, you pick them, and they hang them up up beside the house. And my grandmother, and Aunt Caroline, she could really pick birds. Oh, I could never pick them like that. She no. could pick them. My mother was the same way. They know just how to score and pick them. Very good. Uh, to pick them in the kitchen, uh, you never believe. No. You fear that's what you live on most in the winter. Was yes, birds, exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 So your your grandmother lived in Shipko. My grandmother on mother's side, on your mother's uh, Aunt on, Lucy, yes. yes, she had a store there. The first time I went to St. John's, with her, I went with, uh, with her, and she could go to Linterwater Street and she'd buy her stuff and bring her, she sold groceries and dry goods. She had it all up in her head. She would never had never, didn't no. ever calculate it down. No. And she had it up in her head. Yeah. You know, she, she must have wronged herself or someone sometime. But I tell you, the old people were smarter and oh, yes. enough fingers than what some of the young people did today. Because they're all right. their computer today or their phone, yes. you know. Yeah. Yeah, the whole grandma was busy. It was very busy. The first time I went to St. John's was when all British bikes on taxi. Oh, very good. I can well remember that. Yeah. And before she come home, she had a friend and her aunt, a little pet, and they came from Bandy one time. And she'd never come home until she went to 15 Franklin Avenue. 
Oh, is that right? That's where they lived. Oh, very good. <laughs> I couldn't remember that yeah. today. No trouble at all. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been quite of an experience to go to Saint, for you to go to St. John's. Yeah. Yeah. I went to with, with uh, your different times, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, she she lived to be in her nineties, you know, but uh, she went up and down after a bit. Uh, I said, could put on my head a lot. I used to say, shh, take the, I used to say the shh, early sometimes. If you could take her, she'd live longer. Yeah. I think she li lived to be in her nineties and died before her time. Yes. I don't yeah. know if any such things as that, but that's, that's what right. it seemed like to me. Yeah. yeah. And did you, when you were growing up as a young boy, would the chip cove seem like a long ways away to you? Well, you'd walk up with you uh, when up to Mr. Dawes, Charlie Dawes, they used to have everyone had, uh, you had a jar of molasses. And Uncle Fred Tucker um, went up there, had fancy molasses, dark molasses. I believe it was three different kinds of punching. And my grandmother, Aunt Caroline, she always drank it in a, a tea. Yeah. Because when the war was on, sugar was rationed, you would have to stick to get the sugar and uh, lot, and all the people got used to drink and molasses in their tea. Oh, very good. I can remember that this yeah. like yesterday. Yes, that's right. Now, I can remember when the iron ore boats were sunk over in the tickle. Oh, is that right? I was in picking berries with Aunt Stella Batten, that's my aunt, eh? Right, yeah. You know, that's before she was married, I guess, yeah. you know. And we were on our way out, me and over the hills, when we heard the blast. And most every boat was out of cold fishing that day. It was a nice day. Yes. Now, they wasn't all sunk to one time. No. So some were, were sunk. I think there's four was over there, right? Oh, yeah. And, they, and that's, that's how close the war was to well, here then at that time, mate. Eh? Yeah. And I can remember that. No trouble at all. Very good. I'm old enough for that. I, I can remember when a long ways back. when uh, I know you know, A lot can. of people around older than my, but uh, yes. I can remember when I was a small child. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. And if I could get aboard a boat when Dad was gone, I was only five and a half hours aboard my grandfather. Yeah. Died. I thought he died right there, but his wasn't quite there. He got on out fishing that day. Yes. He died that night. He was only 61. Wow. And that yeah. was a 1940, and I can remember that no trouble. Just the same as if today, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that you would like to share with us? Well, boy, there's a lot of things. Um, if I had uh, a job to think at all, the you come from uh, You come from uh, a fairly big family, didn't yes, you? Yes, there was eight of us. Yeah. Eight of us, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, five girls and three boys. The summer's gone now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm still around anyway. Yes, yeah. I, I remember your mom. Yeah. 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 Very good. We had a lot of big families then, eh? A lot of big families then, yeah. that's right. No, yeah. the school pictures showed us some school pictures around you see out in school and that. I mean, the pictures again, the school, a lot more children there today. And oh. they never had a school bus then to go on. No. If the teacher could get there, the was open. That's you know, right. There was snow was in the winter. Exactly. Down here, most of them used to board the school teacher board over the heart more layers on the other side of the goal. Oh, yeah. She used to board the teacher. And if she could get to school, and I still pity the teacher because all great school, you know. Yes. Uh, some of the older fellas yeah. wasn't in a bit. Uh, That's right. You know. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I guess one time out there, they took. They teach up to, uh, from kinder, well, there was no kindergarten then, it was in Prima. Prima, that's right, I and, went to Prima. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, when I went, that was Prima. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, when I went now, you go to grade six, probably, and after that, went up to St. Luke's, the ship okay. right? But school wasn't in my mind. All that was in my mind was get out and vote with and them. And vote. Yeah. yeah, I signed on for grade nine, yeah. and I never finished it. No. no that, the dad was willing to take me out and I was willing to go. That's right, yeah. Uh, but I learned more after I got out of school and building boats and one thing or another oh, and yes. doing the church work and yeah. all of that. And I learned more than what I did in school. Exactly, yeah. yeah. School's yeah. not for everybody, but uh, yeah. oh, yes. a lot you of can't do it without the day. You can't do it without, without today. the day. You've got to oh, have it today. You can't do it without yeah. the day. But back then, was that was the normal, like, did you get to grade nine? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, and a lot in of the, successful fishing. Well, what a difference today! In yes. the spring, or the frost well ground, you were fencing the door. Yeah, everyone had their garden, grow their vegetables, and yeah. how busy would it be? They you worked know? hard. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Well, then, Uncle Vern, I'm going to call you Uncle Vern, although when you're not related, but that's just yeah. out of respect. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's right. been a pleasure. 
and uh, I'm probably going to come back again another time. Yeah. So uh, there's a job to remember. Oh, well, I know. I got so many stories. I put a lot of them in the book I wrote. You yes, know? you did write a book. But That's right. After I got them done, I was, uh, yeah. probably a dozen more, probably twenty more stories come to mind. I could have wrote another probably 100 pages. Yes, you could. Yeah. Now, that's that's what I need to do is review the book. I've read it. And uh, then we could talk about some of the yeah. some of the stories in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for letting me come today. Yes, okay, and, uh, Joyce. But you've always been a good friend. We'll chat again. Yes, okay. Thank you.